In 2 Kings 12 and 2 Chronicles 24, we find King Joash, who became king when he was just seven years old. Joash knew that the temple needed some serious repair, so he decided to do something about it, and he made a plan to collect money from the people to fund the repairs, and it worked. The temple was restored to its former glory. And it says in 2 Kings 12, verses 11 and 12, Then they gave the money to the construction supervisors who used it to pay the people working on the Lord's temple, the carpenters, the builders, the masons, and the stone cutters. They also used the money to buy the timbers and the finished stones needed for repairing the Lord's temple. And they paid any other expenses related to the temple's restoration. Joash didn't just collect the money and then forget about it. He made sure the money was used properly to achieve the goal set before them. There's a lot that we can learn from these two chapters, but I want to encourage you today, never underestimate what God can do through us, no matter how young or inexperienced you may feel. Joash was just a kid when he became king, but he was still able to make a big impact. But also, we should always make sure that our resources are being used wisely. Whether it's money, time, or talent, we must be good stewards of what God has blessed us with. We have to honor him by being intentional about how we use what God has given us. When we are obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit and we honor him with our time, talent, and resources, there's no limit to what he can do. Proverbs 3, 9 and 10 says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine.